Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the Data IQ Product Days. Today we are presenting uh, the Altrix to Data IQ Migrator uh, by V4C. Uh, my name is Vijay. Uh, I'm one of the board members uh, here at V4C. Uh, my background: um, I was a founder for a, a you know MuleSoft uh, only consulting company called Apicero, uh, which we grew and uh, you know uh, we were acquired. Uh, by entity data and uh, post the acquisition um, i have uh, accepted a couple of board positions and uh, very excited to be associated with uh, v4c and i also have brandon with me brandon i'll hand it over to you for a quick hello yeah hey great thank you vj brandon kadelka here sales engineer at v4c i've been in the advanced data analytics machine learning space for for quite a few years as a as an sc as well as a as a consultant Thank you, Brandon. Uh, before we jump in, a quick, uh, you know, background about uh, V4C. Uh, we are, uh, you know, we are a pure play data IQ services company. We specialize in helping our end customers, um, you know, really leverage uh, data IQ to, um, you know, fully, um, you know, fully benefit their companies uh, using the uh, all the latest and greatest in artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, generative AI. So most of these use cases, um, you know, DataIQ is a very powerful platform and uh, we have deep expertise in helping um, our joint customers uh, make the most of uh, the science out there uh, using DataIQ. So we have a pretty formidable team. So 125 colleagues uh, around the globe and some deep expertise in data IQ. Um, and we have a lot of inbuilt accelerators, industry point of views, uh, then that we can bring to the table as well. And uh, we have, uh, uh, you know, expertise in uh, some of the major uh, industry verticals uh, that you can see on the screen here, FINS, health and life sciences, technology, um, you know, retail um, and telecommunication and manufacturing as well. And uh, like I alluded to earlier, uh, you know, we, have, we are pretty mature um, in our uh, offerings. Uh, we can help you uh, help our end customers uh, with their AI strategy, um, you know, how they should be thinking of about uh, all the latest advances in AI and ML um, to kind of really benefit, uh, you know, their corresponding functions. Uh, we could, uh, help, uh, you know, customers uh, leverage uh, the full potential of the data IQ platform, you know, we can help uh, deploy the platform and, uh, you know, be, uh, help them kind of, uh, you know, implement uh, different uh, use cases. Uh, we also specialize in data IQ training and enablement, we can help end customers uh, really uh, you know, train up their users um, and also uh, the ML ops and the governance side is pretty big. So we can really help uh, customers stand up their C4A, the center for acceleration that can really help uh, set a solid foundation for governance and uh, really uh, a federated model uh, of, um, you know, implementing data IQ across their organization. What do you, Brandon? Thanks, VJ. Before we dive into the specifics of the Altrix to Data IQ migration tool, I want to spend a few minutes talking about some customer success stories that we've recently had. Uh, this first one here is from Pennant Group. Now, Pennant is a home care hospitalization group, and they really had a challenge with identifying the need for hospitalization or hospice care for their patients. Now, hospitalization of home care patients can lead to increased intervention needs and higher costs and elevated insurance claims. And so there's a critical need to predict the probability of a patient being hospitalized within a 7, 14, or 21 days window to mitigate these challenges. Now, the solution we came up with was to implement and operationalize an actual prediction model, providing a risk score and a detailed narrative of the key factors contributing to the risk. And so this had an impact of enhanced patient care, proactive health monitoring, re accurate billing, and better resource planning. The second customer here is a global fashion retailer, and they really had a challenge with order fulfillment risks and better predicting and addressing chargeback issues. 
So wholesale orders can be delayed or incompletely fulfilled due to a variety of factors. And orders that aren't fulfilled on time leave the business open to potential chargebacks. And those chargebacks can total up to $2 million annually. And so we created a model within DataIQ to predict orders that would have the potential to be delayed or partially fulfilled, therefore, therefore proactively identifying problem orders and help mitigate those issues. And so we're able to provide better visibility into the potential order fulfillment risks, as well as targeted proactive mitigation actions to reduce delays and partial fulfillment scenarios. I'm really excited to walk you through this migration tool. I think it'll really help accelerate your time to value as you migrate from Alteryx to DataIQ. But first, I want to talk about why DataIQ. DataIQ has a lot of advanced capabilities that can bring a lot of value to your organization quickly. Things like data preparation and data ops, so being able to handle large quantities of data and easily at scale, being able to collaborate with your team better and manage projects better together. DataIQ also provides a full governance framework to ensure sensitive data management and regulatory compliance. Scalability, so being able to handle large-scale data processing and analysis, so this makes it better for enterprise-level projects. AI and ML ops, advanced machine learning app capabilities and pre-built AI algorithms are baked into the product, as well as capabilities for ML ops to easily monitor and deploy projects. And extensibility, so it's an open platform that supports a lot of integrations with a wide range of technologies and data sources. So what is the Alteryx to DataIQ migration tool? Well, it's built through collaboration by B4C and DataIQ. It's built on the DataIQ platform. And really what it does is it inventories, maps, analyzes, and ultimately migrates your Alteryx workflows from Alteryx into DataIQ. It also provides an estimation for the time required, as well as helps streamline the migration process with consistency and accuracy that an enterprise needs. Some of the benefits you'll quickly see when leveraging the migration accelerator are obviously time savings, but also being able to accurately estimate how long it would take to move a workflow, any given workflow from Alteryx into DataIQ, as well as analyze the complexity of that workflow and be able to prioritize features and functions as well as understanding what kind of custom code or work that may need, be, may need to be done. This also is going to be decrease the learning curve of DataIQ for your end users and bring about a faster realization of ROI for your DataIQ investment. This, we also help with risk mitigation and support. So through our expertise at V4C, we're able to continuously help you improve and build upon the work that you've done with, from Alteryx into DataIQ. So at a high level, this is kind of what the architecture of the actual migration tool looks like. There's three different components here. We first analyze your Alteryx workflows to get a better understanding of the components and the features and the functionality that's being in the tools being leveraged. We then map the components and better understand what features can be easily translated into data IQ. And then we actually do the migration itself where we take your Alteryx workflows and migrate them automatically into a data IQ flow. From there, we do a lot of testing to make sure and validating to make sure your data sources are correctly input as well as outputting um, and making sure all of the uh, functions that were configured in that Alteryx workflow are now properly translated in your data IQ flow. So I'm really excited to actually walk you through a demonstration of this tool in action, and hopefully you can begin to see the value it could bring to your organization. The first place where we're actually going to start is within DataIQ itself. Uh, we built out an application that allows for the estimation to be done all within the DataIQ flow really easily. So if I go and I click on this particular project, this Alteryx to DataIQ uh, Data Science Studio conversion, we can see what the workflow looks like uh, that is behind, essentially built behind the scenes of the application itself. So if we look here from left to right, we have our inputs, which is our complexity mapping. Um, and our conversion analysis, right? Um, and then we have a, uh, we're bringing in the actual workflow data itself to be uh, to be joined and mapped to see kind of where things are able to be translated easily and where you know there's room for some additional kind of retooling or, or, or a custom coding. So if we look here throughout the flow, we can then see we join these da this the, this data this we join this data together. Um, and we're able to then create a few recipes to begin actually doing the mapping and uh, my uh, mapping process. So if we go back to uh, our home, 
we can actually then open this up as an analytical app. So if we go to our applications uh, section here, we can then open this up and we can see that this is nice, has a nice clean interface that allows us to just interact with it with just a couple different inputs. And, and from here, we're able to easily get an understanding and an analysis of the complexity of this workflow and, and to see, you know, once again, how, how difficult or how complex it will be to actually migrate it into data IQ. So when we put, we can plug in our files. So in this case, I've already pre pre uh, ran this where we have a couple different workflows. So this actually accepts multiple workflow, uh, YXMD files. We add these in and we can actually hit this analyze button and it's going to give us a few different outputs. Um, it's going to one, give us this uh, really cool analyzer dashboard. So if I click on this, we can then see at a high level, you know, how difficult the uh, this workflow would be to, uh, to, to migrate into data IQ. So we can see that we've got most of the tools in here are classified as quote unquote easy, meaning that there's going to be a pretty clear one-to-one -one mapping. And then we have a, uh, complexity of, uh, you know, more difficult, right? Hard where, where this may require a little bit more custom coding in order to kind of replicate some of the processes. Uh, but that's where, you know, we at V4C come in and we can, we can help with that along the way. So if we look here, we can also see, you know, just the count of the tools, right? So this is a pretty simple workflow that we're bringing in. Um, and so it's just, is joining a couple data sets together. So it's not, it's relatively, you know, not complex, but this should give you a good idea of kind of how this is working. So we have one particular workflow that we're going to kind of keep working with here. Um, and, and then I want to actually plug into the migrator. So we can look here and toggle to this other uh, YXMD file. And we can see that this is, you know, relatively easy to, to migrate. And so maybe this is a good starting place. Um, we've got 10 tools here and we're able to, uh, and we're able to easily kind of map these out pretty quickly. So if I then go to the next phase of this, which is actually the V4C custom created application, we can then open this up and begin to uh, actually translate this workflow into a data IQ flow. And so the next step here is once again, similar to how the uh, application works within the data IQ framework, we can upload our, our workflow files here. So if we browse out, we can select which workflow we want to, we want to bring in. In this case, we're actually going to take the XML form of the workflow. So all Altrix workflows have XML coded in the, on the back end. And so that allows us to easily parse out and actually map, begin to map where uh, the, the, the different tools are being used and actually translate those into data IQ recipes and functions. So we brought in our, our demo, our, our workflow of joining a couple of different data sets together. We're then bringing in our two uh, input sets. Uh, so we have a return CSV file and then an order CSV file. So similar thing, we can browse out to where that data lives. Um, and then once we have our inputs configured, we can give this project a name and then we can begin to convert it. So if I hit this convert button, we can see that the files were, were uploaded successfully and we get this notification that the connection mapping completed successfully as well. So this actually then now creates a new data IQ flow within your instance. So if I go now to my next tab, we can now see that this flow has now been generated during that mapping process. So looking here from left to right, we can actually see that every tool on here has been converted from the Altrix uh, workflow itself. And so we were able to easily bring in our orders and our return CSV files. We then were be able to create some recipes around replicating some of the Altrix select, select functionality uh, where we're doing some cleaning, basic cleaning, and then joining these two data sets together with a join recipe. And so if I double click in here, I can actually see that this has already been configured for me. Um, and so now this is actually a working flow that I can begin to use and actually productionalize. But the first thing obviously we want to do is, is make sure that our outputs are actually, you know, coming through and that the data coming out of the workflow is actually, you know, correct. And it's being in, in our results are what we're expecting. So we can check that and we can double click into here and we can see that we've got all of our joined data sets brought in here from the, the, our two files that we've cleaned up and we brought and, and we joined together. So going back to the actual workflow itself, one thing I want to point out is that there was one particular tool that was uh, unable to be one, you know, created totally within a, uh, a data IQ recipe. And so really where our, a lot of the value of our tool that our application that we, we created here at V4C is we actually have created a framework where it actually custom then custom codes out in Python 
uh, that functionality. So you don't even have to actually then go in and try to recreate this tool um, and code it yourself. The migrator tool actually does it for you. So if I click in here, double click in this, we actually have the script for the Python function, uh, Python code that is replicating that Altrix function. And that's been actually put in here automatically through the migration process. So that's a huge kind of value add for anyone who's, you know, comes across a tool in Altrix that isn't maybe doesn't necessarily have a one for one analogous relationship to a data IQ process because of data IQ is so flexible with the, with, in being able to easily leverage Python, R code, um, you can, in, or SQL code, you can easily bring this in. Um, in this case, we're leveraging Python to then create that, that, that function in the, the, the flow itself. So what we get here is a fully productionized flow within data IQ that you can begin to build off of and expand on or share and scale within your organization or within you know, your wider data IQ environment. All right, so now that we've done a high level overview of the actual migration tool in action, I want to spend a little bit of time talking through some of the roadmap and the feature improvements that we're planning on continuously adding to this. I uh, then want to also take a little bit of time to focus on some additional assets that, we may, that you may find valuable uh, as you go through this process. And so the first thing I want to touch on is uh, tool mapping from Altrix to Data IQ. And so currently we have a large amount of uh, the most commonly used tools that are uh, frequently found in Altrix workflows, currently mapped one for one within Data IQ. And the goal here is to have full parity from Altrix to Data IQ so that the migration process of your Altrix workflows into Data IQ is as seamless and easy and automated as possible. The next thing that we were looking to, to, to improve upon is just streamlining the user interface and ultimately combining the estimation uh, application as well as the migration applications into a singular process. Uh, that way, just simplifying the user experience and making it as easy to use as possible. We're also working to integrate with additional third-party project management tools to better track and organize the migration journey as a whole. We also created some great assets to assist you with the migration process. Our ebook, which we partnered with DataIQ to create, is a comprehensive roadmap for seamless migration from Altrix to DataIQ, really detailing the strategies for workflow automation, AI, and general implementation, and leveraging DataIQ's cloud native platform. We also recommend you check out the Altrix to DataIQ index and self reference guide. This is a helpful guide to really better understand from an end user's perspective how to map your favorites tools in Altrix and easily correspond them to data IQ recipes. We thank you so much for taking the time to join us for this presentation. Hopefully you can really begin to see how data IQ and B4C can help bring value on your migration journey. I hope you have a great rest of your day.